Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week, Twitter's back at it again. <laughs> While previously we can credit Twitter for introducing us all to white girls rapping in cars, unfortunately there is yet another video that nobody asked for that's being shoved down all of our throats on our timelines. This one though is called Real Woman Vote Trump. When I first saw the video on my timeline, I was like, this is just tomfoolery. I'm not, there, I'm not touching this. But then after I looked a little bit more into it, I realized that the group of girls that are a part of this viral video on Twitter are called the Deplorable Choir and they have a YouTube channel that is dedicated to making bad songs in favor of Donald Trump. So I thought today, why don't we sit down and see what these real women have to say. Of course, before we start the video, we have to do this week's sweaty shout out. This week it goes to Serena Malloy, who sent this beautiful, beautiful meme. If you want to get a sweaty shout out for yourself, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, which makes you a sweaty, and then follow me on Instagram and send me your favorite meme of the week on Instagram, and you might get chosen. We're the deplorable choir. I already hate this. We don't care if you're white. Don't care if you're black. We don't care if you're gay. We're all under attack. We don't care if you're rich. Are the two girls behind her just like miming what she's doing? Like why is the main girl the only one singing? Don't care if you're poor We just know What we're fighting for Sing it! This is exactly what I see in the corner of my room when I have sleep paralysis Real women vote for Trump We don't need no liberal Trump Yeah, real women vote for Trump There are almost too many things to address. Almost. I think my first question is, why are their hats so big? Like, their hats are like floating on top of their heads. I mean, if anything, this video is a good way to understand who the demographic is that buys those weird, ugly ass graphic t-shirts because they are um, front and center in this video. I also love how the main girl's voice, like every couple lines dips into demon mode every couple seconds, she's like, Vote for Trump. We don't care if you're girls. We don't care if you're dudes. We don't care if you're both. That's up to you. We don't care if you're men. I cannot take my eyes off of the two girls in the back. What the fuck is going on here? Girls. We don't care if you're dudes. We don't care if you're men. Women's soccer team. Girl, what dream? Your country's on fire. Sing it! Real women! Please shut up! Heck yeah! We don't care if you're Eastwood. Don't care if you're Leo. Production level on this one is out of this world, guys. Just grab the Corona <laughs> with me amigas. Why? Cause real women fuck with Trump! We don't need no liberal chump, yeah, real women, fuck Trump, heck yeah! This two minute video is putting out an energy that I can only describe as women who put these kind of things on their Pinterest boards and also think that liking beer is a personality trait. If you thought that one was bad, there's also one called the fake news song. Alright, one. <laughs> Let me get this straight. This song is called the fake news song, but they made the decision to put the front and center piece of paper as the song starts as um, a grocery pamphlet. Fake news, hot off the press. Tell me who the heck is really buying this from a tax and mega hats. Can someone explain to me where they keep getting these matching outfits? Like, do they just have a t-shirt press in their living room that they're like, okay guys, what are we gonna do for this week's video? Let's put damn deplorables on a t-shirt. Cohen Kavanaugh and Cal Flatulence 
I'm a getting sick of all the shit they spew. Lord, won't you save us from their fake news? Another day, another story, and another scam. Trying to stop all the winning. They'd rather see Trump blow up the world than with Rocket Man to find some pay. What is the decision making process on whether you should buy a life size Donald Trump cutout or not? Like, what were the pros in that decision? Can you imagine getting up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and as you're just kind of like walking down the hallway minding your own business, the outline of Donald Trump is looming over you like Slender Man because you decided with your own mind to buy a life size cutout of him? News, hot off the press. Tell me who the heck is really buying this from up tax and MAGA hats Covington, Kavanaugh, Caflatulins I'm a getting sick of all the shit they spew Lord, won't you save us from their fake news Well, the world's gonna end in the next 12 years Says the boss AOC well, if there's one thing we can all agree on Is it will if she's leaving Fake news, hot off the press Tell me who the heck is really buying this That's some master guitar playing right there X and MAGA hats Jussie Kavanaugh and Cal Flatulence I'm a getting sick of all the shit they spew Lord, won't you save us from their fake news? Oh hell, what would we do without Democrats? Creating problems just to solve them. I just want to know why they keep adding the text for their lyrics randomly on the screen and then decide to fade them in and out using like PowerPoint transitions. All of their videos remind me of when I was in grade four and first was using PowerPoint and I was like, all right, we're just gonna load up 20 transitions for one slide. Like this, this presentation on my dog is about to be a fucking light show. Bowler Kavanaugh and cow flatulence. I'm a getting sick of all the shit they spew. Lord, won't you save us from their fake news? I'm a getting sick of all the shit they spew. Oh, Lord, won't you save us from their fake news? Okay, moving on. I guess we'll watch the Vote Republican song. If you lack money and a job, you have big dreams of a barter, won't want to keep. Your doctor and keep your gun by God for Republican. If you like the sound of the draining swamp, your freedom's God in the Constitution. Wanna keep America great again by God for Republican. You like shit on the streets of San Francisco. Actual poop, guys. It's real poop. Actual poop. We know it's real because Karen just shat on the picture in the middle of the street. It's real. You like Nancy defending MS-13 and Maxine rounding up her moms. If you like the crime in Chicago and Schumer's big fake tears, then here's a ticket from me. things I never wanted to see in my life and I would say that girls in their mid 30s in keep America great again hats flossing was probably at the top of that list you have big dreams of a border wall wanna keep your doctor and keep your gun by God for Republican if you like the sound No fucking words for this shit. Keep America great again. By God, the Republican. You lack paying for illegals. But for those that serve you, you know a baby's cry, but you still disguise murder as a right to choose. 
That baby's the only sane one in that room. He's like, get me the fuck out of here. My mom is nuts. You divide us by identity. The girl on the left is feeling that beat. Just to create fear. Then here's a ticket from me. Pick any country. Get the hell out of here. I feel like that clip is the closest I'm ever going to be to experiencing what it's like to work at a clothing store and have women like this coming up to them like, Listen, sweetie, I need to speak to your manager because this says it's 50% off. But if you like money and a job, you have big dreams of a border wall. Not even the dog wants his face in this shit. I wanna keep your doctor and keep you. Republican. If you like the sound of a draining swamp, your freedom's got in the Constitution. Wanna keep America great again? By God, vote Republican. By God, vote Republican. If you like money and a job. I love how she just gave up on strumming the guitar at the right parts where the guitar is actually playing in the song. You have big dreams of a border wall. I just don't understand why she keeps emphasizing words randomly in the song where she's like the border wall. The next one is called National Emergency and one of them is wearing a headdress. For the deplorable choir. <laughs> They want your wallets, they want your guns, they want the wieners. What is the guy in the back doing? <laughs> you can just tell there was a conversation before they started filming where the guy in the back was like, hey, like, can I harmonize with you guys in the video? And Tiffany over here front and center was like, I swear to fucking God, if you do anything other than play the goddamn guitar, I will kill you. So instead he's giving us an ASMR performance this entire video. Off your sons. Girl, find the note. Find the fucking note. And we'll be Venezuela fans. Democrats. Democrats. They'll promise free shit like AOC. And tax us all at 70. And if you are okay with that, I hope you like the taste of cats. What the fuck did cats have anything to do with anything? Democrats. Democrats. Oh, Trump, help us, please. It's a national emergency. Just vote it in more swamp rats. What the fuck's wrong with rats? They want your wallets, they want your guns, they want the wieners of your sons. Damn Democrats! Okay guys, ready on three, the end of the video, we're gonna say damn Democrats at the same time. Okay, one, two, three. Damn, damn Democrats. Damn Democrats. Stacy, are you fucking kidding me? The next one's called No Smoke and Gun, and they still are wearing the exact same hats. <laughs> Choreo choreo on this one. I think the real question is what they're trying to hide in the 30,000 emails. No one can seem to find the we'll get all the answers when the cards come undone. And something tells me it might smell like uranium. No, there ain't no smoke and dust. You're going down, 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 down. 
bro Obama. Bro Obama. In crooked Hillary, only call me Sally Yates. General Flynn will be set free. And don't forget Brennan and crappy, crappy clapper. listen to that chorus again that was the most annoying shit i've ever heard i'm still confused on if something is lagging in this video if the people in the back are lip syncing because they're seconds off of everybody else but the audio itself sounds like it was done live i'm very confused on even why those two girls are there they weren't really singing they were just lip syncing and doing weird dance moves and listen i don't think there is any choreo that these girls could whip up that could be any better than the absolute art that we've seen before with the white girls rapping video. He was lying straight to my face. I told him that I loved him. Hit it, cowboy Jesse. It's a real tough laugh if you say you are a liberal. Trump train moving ahead full steam. It ain't too late if you feel that dragon energy. What is dragon energy? Like, who is the dragon? Trump? You guys? Jump on board, we'll say. There are four people in this clip, and not a single one of them is on beat. Call a little rock and man your peace on the peninsula. Just welcome home, free detainees. Sucked into Iran and squashed Obama's legacy. If you listen closely and then it's crying, it's a real tough life. If you say you are a liberal, Trump train moving ahead, full steam. say annoying i just don't understand how i'm sure these girls have a passion for music but out of all of the things you would want to shape your career like your entire career around you're gonna choose donald trump <laughs> judging by these videos it seems the personalities of these three girls solely orient around a cheeto with a piece of felt attached to his head that we're supposed to believe is hair like if you go to their main website the deplorable choir they say just deplorables making music god country trump and fun like this is all they do. You know what? I am looking at this photo while editing and I am realizing I am 99.9% .9 sure at least one of these women were in the Arbon MLM trailer we were watching last week. Like I could fully picture them posting shit like this on their Instagram stories. They also have merch so ugly that I think that this dethrones Logan Paul's merch. <laughs> Trust in God, but vote Republican, deplorable choir, one nation under God, damn deplorable. I love wine and Trump. Ain't no shame in my Trump game. Seriously though, have they actually made any sales on this shit? Like, if someone is actually buying this for $30 USD, give me two seconds and I'll whip something up with clip art and Teespring too. Like, goddamn. Beyond just the terrible merch on their website, they also wear this shirt and cardigan combo in their videos. Like, what is this where the wild things are ass font, wig wearing elephant, American flag ass cardigan shit? Like, where are they getting this stuff? I don't know how they managed it, but this stuff is actually worse than the LuLaRoe leggings. All I have to say after watching those videos is that I am heavily debating leaving Twitter because that app is what led me to this. If you guys did enjoy the video, regardless of this cringy ass content, feel free to subscribe and like the video if you want. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which are both Casey Anzo. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, feel free to put video suggestions down below. I'm kind of running out of ideas, so any and all suggestions are welcome, and I will see you guys in the next one.